Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us try to find the equation of a straight line using determinants. Let us say the if two points are given to us and the two points are 0 comma 0 and 3 comma 4 and we want to find the equation of the straight line using determinants and the way to do that is as follows. Let us write this in these different steps. Step number one. What we know is this. Determinant of x, y, x, y, 1 and then uh, then the second row we're going to have x1, y1, 1 and then x2, y2, 1 and if we were to find the determinant of this matrix and then equate that to 0 that should give us the value of the uh, that should give us the value of the equation of the straight line so in here as step number 2 we'll start to plug in the numbers so the determinant of x y x y 1 we'll keep that there is nothing changing there wherever we see x 1 y 1 we'll plug in the coordinate points given to us that is 0 0 1 and then the second point given to us is 3 4 that would be x 2 y 2 so 3 4 and then 1 and then we will equate this to 0 and we need to find the determinant of this and therefore x y 1 0 0 1 and then 3 4 1 um, this determinant will equate that to 0. If we were to travel along the first row and according to the sign convention we know the first column first row element will be positive, negative and then positive like that and if we were to follow that that sequence of events we're going to expand this uh, determinant as follows x the minor of that is going to be 0 1 4 1 and then minus y the minor of that those are going to be 0 0 0 uh, this should be 0 1 3 4 3 1 this should be 1 the minors of y are 0 1 and 3 1 and then we have positive 1 and the minor of that is going to be 0 0 3 and 4 and we're going to equate that to 0 when we simplify this it is going to come out as follows x times 0 times 1 is 0 minus 4 times 1 is 4 minus y times 0 times 1 is 0 3 times 1 is 3 and then we have plus 1 times 0 times 4 is 0 and then 3 times 0 is 0 therefore that is that we equate that to 0 so therefore now we have x times negative 4 minus y times negative 3 plus 1 times 0 is 0 is equal to 0 so when we simplify this this is going to come out as x times 4x is negative 4x negative y times 3 negative 3 is going to be equal to positive 3y is equal to 0 therefore our equation here is negative 4x plus 3y is equal to 0 is the equation of the straight line okay this is the way we can we we can solve the equations of straight lines using determinants we can also check our work the standard way of uh, finding the equation of the straight line is as follows let's let me write this as step number three step three and I'll call this as the check what we know if the two points given to us are 0 0 and 3 comma 4 if these are the two points we have first we want to find the slope how do we find the slope the slope the slope let me write this again we can find the slope which is represented as m as 
y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. That is the definition of the slope. The change in y divided by change in x. y2 here is 4. 4 minus y1 is 0. x2 here is 3. And x1 here is 0. So 4 minus 0 is 4. 3 minus 0 is 3. So therefore the slope is 4 over 3. We also know the, uh, the point slope formula. The point slope formula is telling us that y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And if we were to plug in a, a, uh, a point, either the first point or the second point, we should be able to find the equation of the straight line. For now, let us say we are going to pick the first point, 0 comma 0, and then plug it into this equation, into this point slope formula. So when we plug it in, y minus y1 here is 0 is equal to we found the value of m as 4 over 3, we'll plug that value in here, times x minus x1 is 0. When we simplify this, we should be able to get the equation of the straight line. y minus 0 is y is equal to, we're going to distribute the 4 over 3 to every one of the terms inside the parentheses. 4 over 3 times x will be 4 over 3x, and then 4 over 3 times 0 is going to be equal to 0. And therefore, when we simplify this, this is going to be 3y is equal to 4x minus 0. We can also write this one as uh, minus 4x plus 3y, bringing the uh, variable terms to one side of the equation and then equating it to 0. Negative 4x plus 3y is equal to 0. This is exactly what we have. This is exactly what we have in here. When we found the equation of the straight line using determinants and when we found the equation of the straight line using uh, using the known methods uh, that is uh, using the point slope formula we got we got the same equation and therefore there are multiple ways of arriving at the same answer and in this particular case we are trying to, we are trying to use determinants to to find the equation of the straight line and if we did that and we were also be we, we were also able to find the equation equation of the straight line using using the known methods from algebra in my next presentation we shall look at some more examples related to solving uh, some problems using determinants